polio is an infectious disease that is 99% preventable through vaccination. However, if an individual does contract polio, they may experience symptoms that are similar to other upper respiratory viruses. Now, polio is transmitted from person to person, and when an individual is infected with polio, the virus typically resides in their throat and also in their intestines. So it's common for that transmission to occur to an uninfected individual, one, through fecal matter, or two, through respiratory droplets, such as a cough or a sneeze, from an infected individual to a non-infected individual. However, most cases of polio are actually asymptomatic, but that doesn't mean that they can't pass on the virus to others, because they can actually continue to spread that virus for more than 14 days after they've been infected. And for about a quarter of individuals who are infected with polio, they'll experience similar to flu-like symptoms, such as a sore throat, fever, nausea, and just overall tiredness. And on the extreme side of polio, some individuals can experience debilitating conditions, such as meningitis, which is inflammation of the spinal cord, as well as paralysis. And if someone has a paralytic case of polio, up to 10% of them could die due to muscles that are needed for them to continue breathing, which have stopped working. Now, just because an individual has had a mild or an asymptomatic of polio doesn't mean that they're in the clear because research has found that even 10 to 40 years after someone has had polio, they may experience post-polio syndrome, which is where individuals have muscle weakness or muscle fatigue or even some lingering paralysis. So that's why it's really important for us to know when polio is circulating in our community so we can identify it and stop it before it has a chance to make more people sick.